Now, if you need to insert equations into your presentation, well, you can write them, and you can do it literally with the new to Office 2016 ink equation. But I'll show you how you can insert them or write them both. And if you have a touch screen, obviously you can do it with your finger or stylus. Here, I'll use my mouse. So first off, to insert an equation, come up here, click on the Insert tab, go to the Symbols group, and then click on the Equation drop-down arrow. And you got all these built-in equations, like the area of a circle, a equals pi r squared. Click on it, you get this teeny tiny little equation. Well, let's go ahead and triple-click inside of it so we can select everything, and then get the mini formatting toolbar. Change it from size 18 to, let's do size 66. And then hover and click and drag the border down there, and there you go. And then you get the Related Contextual Design tab and Format tab. Format tab we covered pretty extensively in earlier training videos on objects, shapes, pictures, and text boxes, because basically this is a text box. So you can go ahead and format the shape style and the contents therein, the text, the word art. Like I said, you can watch the previous training videos on the text box and formatting text boxes and shapes. So we'll jump right to the Design tab. And with it selected, you can click in here and be able to add additional things. Like if you want to add a fraction, click on the drop down arrow, and that's a stacked fraction. So it adds it before wherever the cursor is at. And then we can click and drag that up. And you can go ahead and select the box and type in something, well, P minus MQ. I know, I'm writing my own theory here. And then down below, and then you can say, well, it's divided by two. So that's how you can go ahead and build it. Well, not from scratch, but using one of the pre-built equations there. And then when you're done, just click off and hey, there we go. And then the related contextual tabs disappear. To bring it back up, click inside. And then you got the design tab. And then you can redesign it. I'm going to go ahead and click and drag it over. Well, let's delete that and let's do it from scratch. Come up here, click on the insert tab. Go to the symbols group. Click on equation drop down arrow. And even though it says insert new equation, it's got nothing to insert it into. So if you want to go ahead and create a text box, that'll work. Up here on the insert tab, go to the text group, click on text box. You get this little sword on guard. And we can go ahead and click and drag a box about yay big. And then we can come up here on the insert tab, go to the symbols group, click the equation drop down arrow. And then you can insert a new equation. Click on that and there we go, we get the Related Contextual Design tab, and you can either start typing, but if you start typing like A and then equals, oh, great. Okay, that's tiny, so let's go ahead and triple click to select it, and let's go up to something bigger, well, 54. And then when you start typing, when I click at the end of it, because I want to type in something more, the Related Contextual Design tab disappears. Oh, that's horrifying. So what I can do is delete it, and then click on the A, and then notice, when I click on the A, it brings up the Related Contextual Design tab at the cursor. I don't know if you can see this, but it's flashing within the highlighted A on the right-hand side, as opposed to if I go over here on the left-hand side. So it's very subtle, but if you're not watching where that cursor's at, and you come up here, and you click Equals, well, okay, it's on the other side. We don't want that. Hit Undo. So we've got to come over here. You can use the arrow keys on the keyboard and go to the other side of the highlighted A and go ahead and hit equals. That way you keep within the highlight here because if you click on the outside of it, you don't get the related contextual design tab. So you can't finish writing the equation. So go ahead and click on the equation so it highlights it to bring up its related design tab. And then within the highlight, just work within it. Okay, don't go outside, otherwise you'll lose it. Literally, the design tab. And so it equals, and then of course you can do your fraction and A equals a fraction and you know maybe we'll keep it simple. One fourth and then maybe we'll have something like let's see more plus that's still within the fraction so if i don't want to do that i want to undo that and go to the outside then i have to hit the right arrow key so i'm no longer in the bottom denominator there and then just on the right hand side and then i can go ahead and click on more and plus and there we go continue on writing it so it's very subtle but you got to keep an eye where that cursor is at. Make sure it's within the box here. And if it's at the bottom or at the top, or hit the right arrow key a couple of times so it's over on the right-hand side and be able to navigate. Now you can do it that way. Or let me go ahead and click on the text box, hit the delete key, come back up here, click on insert, go to symbols, click on the equation drop-down arrow, 
and go to Ink Equation, new to Office 2016, click on it, and it'll open up, and it says, hey, write your math here. All right, let's see. One slash half two. Give it a second. It was a Y, but then it figured out, okay, there's something below it and a slash, so one half minus oh, one quarter equals something tricky. One quarter. Okay, converted it pretty well. Great, I can erase it, select and correct, click on it, and then select it, and then change it. Well, is it a fraction? Is it left parentheses? Oh, forget it, let me click off. I'll leave it as such and not correct it. And then go ahead and click on insert. And there we go. We just have to triple click. Mini formatting toolbar. Make it big and very nice. Now you can do it in here, but the option that you don't get in PowerPoint, because like I said, PowerPoint's trying to be the jack of all trades. It's not a complete Excel program where you can do, well, charts at the depth or the level that Excel can. So as you recall, up here on the Insert tab to the Symbols group, when you want to work with an equation, pre-built, insert, or ink, right? Okay, let's go ahead and open up Microsoft Word. Come down here and right-click. In the jump list, go to Word. And then up here, you also have it Microsoft Word, Insert. Come over here to Symbols, click on Equation, and look-see, look-see. You can go ahead and get more equations from office.com. That's pretty crazy. And you can also save selection to Equation Gallery. So where well, you don't get that in PowerPoint, you can save it here and keep track of it. That way when you insert it, you'll scroll down to the bottom and it'll be down at the bottom in the gallery here for you to choose. Then you can insert it here. In fact, once it's inserted, let me show you. Like this is an example. Click to insert it. You can click on the tag and Control c to copy it. And let's go back to PowerPoint and see if we can well, paste it. Let me delete that. And Control-V is in Victor to paste it. And, and there you go. So if you worked really hard on an equation and you want to keep it, well, create it in Microsoft Word and then save it. And then you can always insert it from Word and copy and paste it over here. And that way you don't have to reinvent the wheel or rebuild the equation again, as it were. And keep track and save all your equations in Microsoft Word. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.